Welcome back to the Viper Mentor channel. Today I want to go over a short video on why my flux node fell off the network. Uh, yours might have fell off or has the potential of falling off. So let's get into it. With the latest update of the Flux OS that at least my system updated a couple days just prior to the halving, it looks like an additional port was added to the range of the 16,000 16, range. And my node, for whatever reason, decided it was going to use that additional port. And my firewall totally blocked that port, which it should have because I never gave it permission to come in on that port. What happened though is, is that when I was going through it, I don't know what I was thinking. And I tried changing settings on my uh, flux node and up screwing up my entire flux node. So I had to rebuild the whole thing, which took me another day. And we're getting closer and closer into the having and when I was supposed to get a payout, never got the payout. So now my next payout was halved and boy, what a disappointment that is. Uh, and I'll show you that in a second. But the port that was added to the mix was 16,129. So the original range was 16,124 uh, 16, through 16,128. And now it's 16,129. 16, so that's one six. 124 through 16129 in order to have your ports open on your firewall. Once I did that, everything worked great. For those who are just looking for the ports to verify, um, there are four single ports that'd be 53, 80, 123, and 443. Those are the single ports. And then the range ports are 16124 through 16129 and then 30,000 through 39,999 okay those are the ports you need to open up on your firewall and everybody's firewalls are different so you'll have to do a little research if you uh, how to do that port change so let's get over to a tool I've been using I'll leave a link for this in the comments it's uh let me look over here to the other screen it's uh paoverview.app.run on flux.io. And I'll, like I said, I'll leave a link uh, below so this way you guys can get to it. There's a couple things I, I blocked out. There's three areas that I blocked out here um, in the upper left hand corner is my uh, address. Upper right hand corner is my address. And then again, my address here. For security reasons, I am not um, going to expose those. But what you would do is add your wallet that you connected your flux node to right in here is a search box you can see a search button right here in the upper right hand corner and then hit search it'll go out there and find it and it'll populate everything for you it'll tell you what kind of node you have so i have a cumulus node running on this wallet it'll tell me my current rank um which is really nice because it if you don't see that number ticking down, then you know there's an issue. And then it gives you an estimated uh, date in which, if you haven't gotten a payout, it, it'll be a bogus date, but then it gives you the date last payout and then an estimated days to your next payout. As I mentioned before, I took the opportunity when I was rebuilding the Flex node to move it onto a wallet that's separate from everything else on a different account in Zellcor. So this wallet is the first payout I've gotten on this and it's after the having so you can see how the total payout is 1.9 well, basically two right flux and then some parallel assets which at this point in time you can't cash out the parallel assets <clears throat> you are making them but i don't know when that will ever become available if it'll ever become available or if you have to only be on a nimbus or higher uh, node for that to happen 
And then it, what's actually kind of nice down here too is like in the bottom left hand corner, it gives you the current price of flux, which is what is that 80 cents? And then it gives you the current number of cumulus and nimbus and then what's the other one call that thing there is one there is a third tier i don't remember what it is it's something that's outrageous it's like enterprise or the home miners it's not going to be well if you're lucky to have that much flux uh that's fantastic but it also gives you the estimated frequency of payout and the amount that you would average per day uh, on that so the cumulus nodes right now are 14 days 21 hours almost 15 days and then the nimbus modes nodes are three days and seven hours so about three and a half days probably you know guesstimate it's not exact it's close it's based on block uh transaction times and stuff like that which kind of flux right now and then but i just want to go over those uh, additional port that you had to put in there to get make sure your flux node doesn't fall off one of the other nice things too that I started moving around and look at, and maybe we can get another video on that, but I just want to keep this one short. But I want to let, make you guys aware of it's kind of neat to see if somebody is basically using your node to do business. And if you go into your Flux IO, uh, iOS, and that's your home, well, assuming you're at home, you'll be your home IP address, and then whatever port was assigned to you at that time for your communications or you can go locally to your port uh, to your uh, node like the 192.168. whatever dot whatever and then you can on the uh, left hand side of the columns you can actually see apps and then click on that button or menu item and then you can see local apps and that is the local apps that are running on your unit. If you have something there, that means you have um, somebody's actually using your node in the DeFi world to conduct business. And currently, when I looked uh, last night on mine, there was a WordPress uh, instance on there. There was a search in instance on there. And then something else I didn't really recognize. I don't know if it was a custom app. And it actually tells you how much resources are being used and everything else. It is really wild. It is very, very cool. Uh, I thought it was neat. At least I got really kind of like, oh, wow, this is cool. There are people out there that are using my node. And I get passive income from it. I get passive income no matter what, so if people are using it or not. But it just shows that the ecosystem is up and running and running great. Anyway, so I just want to keep this video short. You guys have a great day. Stay profitable. Stay safe. And God bless you.